I just want to start off by saying uh, that I can't express uh, the appreciation we have for our Dallas FBI office. I feel like a very fortunate police chief, uh, not only here in Dallas, but across this country. I can tell you that. The genesis of this investigation simply began with the words, how can we help and where do you need us? Well, in collaboration with our uh, gang detectives and our task force officers, that area was simple. It was an area, as Matt described, south of Dallas, one that make up one of 35 sectors in our city that in 2018 experienced 315 aggravated assaults. In 2019, that number jumped to 367 aggravated assaults. And in 2020, that number jumped even higher to 485 aggravated assaults. In 2018, 10 murders. In 2019, 12 murders. And in 2020, 23 murders. Keep in mind, this makes up one of 35 sectors in the city. Uh, and approximately 10% of our murders last year. This is the reason our police department takes part in joint task forces with our federal partners. I applaud the efforts of our DPD task force officer, our gang unit in support, and our, our gang unit and narcotics unit in support, and the partnership and the diligent work of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The actions today are precisely are what outlined what are outlined in our violent crime reduction strategy plan. Not only were our target grids affected, but also this is where net place network investigations be begin, the disruption of criminal enterprises. The message today for the residents of Dallas is simple. The DPD is not alone in keeping our communities safe. The DPD is not alone in weeding the criminal element off of our streets. And the DPD is not alone in seeding our communities with hope. We'll be asking ourselves, what can we do to strengthen these neighborhoods? We'll be asking ourselves, what do we need to invest in these communities? How do we combat to improve education, poverty, and blight in these communities? For those are long-term solutions. But this doesn't end here. Much more work needs to be done in our city. But together, we're stronger. But our message to the criminal element in Dallas is just as stout. The DPD are not the only ones watching. That, that, when combined with our residents' trust, is a powerful adversary. Together, we'll be friends of the vulnerable and just, but a formidable foe to those who wish to do harm to our city. And although we recognize that true long-term violent crime solutions cannot merely be solved by actions such as this, we also recognize that these actions are necessary. And as I've said many times, please do not mistake kindness for weakness.